All right, Jana, looking forward to hearing more about that relief. For the first time in months, people in Massachusetts are able to eat in restaurants, try on clothes and fitting rooms, and receive close contact personal services. Today begins step two of phase two in the state's coronavirus reopening plan. Now we're answering your questions about social distancing and the virus as more people begin to venture outside of their homes. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live in Springfield with the answers. Audrey? been said before and we'll say it again just because things are reopening doesn't mean the virus has gone away. We took your questions to a microbiologist questions about where the coronavirus stands now in this stage of the pandemic. Go prepared for it to be a different experience than what you are used to. This week restaurants are allowed to reopen not with imposed capacity limits, but with indoor spacing restrictions. People are asked to cover their mouths except for when they're eating at their table, which leads to our first viewer question about wearing a mask for an extended period of time and the fear of breathing in toxins. When we breathe out, we breathe out a little bit of oxygen and then some carbon dioxide. Erica Hamilton is a UMass microbiologist who says mask wearing won't make you breathe in something toxic, although it can feel uncomfortable in the summer heat. The carbon dioxide, if you breathe, it can cause problems sometimes if you have a buildup of it in your body. But if you're just wearing um, a disposable mask or a regular cloth mask, that should not happen. Beginning this week, office spaces are now allowed to operate at 50% capacity. One Western Mass News viewer asked if a person needs to be retested for COVID-19 if they still have certain symptoms after 10 days. Hamilton says it depends on the symptom. With the, the no taste or smell, it seems to be taking a long time to come back. She says with this particular symptom, people should monitor the length of time it takes for the senses to come back. There are people who are not regaining their sense of smell and taste even after having recovered for weeks, if not months. If, if you fall into that category, make sure that you call your doctor and have a conversation about it. Nail salons, tattoo parlors, massage therapists, and personal training are also able to resume. Hamilton says of all the infection control practices you should be looking out for while in public, masks are the most critical. There's a, a few prelim preliminary studies coming out that are indicating that face masks do really help reduce the, the spread of the disease because it's catching those aerosolized droplets in your mouth. Hamilton says more than anything, those masks should be the indicator of a place's safety when you go out in public. She says if you go into a particular establishment and the employees aren't wearing face masks, you should be wary. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.